Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Rapid Plasma Reagent RPR Test Explained Syphilis Screening and Interpretation Table of Contents Introduction to Rapid Plasma Reagent Test Principle Requirements Procedure Result Interpretation Applications Advantages Limitations Introduction to Rapid Plasma Reagent Test Rapid plasma reagent is a screening test for syphilis, similar to the venereal disease research laboratory test. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the spirochete bacterium Treponema pallidum. Rapid plasma. Reagene is a rapid non-treponemal test that detects non-specific antibodies in the patient's blood, which may suggest a syphilis infection. The test does not detect antibodies against Treponema pallidum directly, but instead identifies IgM and IgG antibodies produced against lipoprotein-like material released from damaged host cells due to Treponema pallidum infection. It may also detect antibodies against cardiolipin that could be released from the treponems. These antibodies are collectively referred to as reagents. The test antigen used is a modified venereal disease research laboratory antigen suspension. This suspension includes choline chloride to eliminate the need for heat inactivation of the serum. Ethylenediamina tetraacetic acid is added to enhance the stability of the suspension. Finely divided charcoal particles are included in the antigen suspension to act as a visualizing agent. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Principle of Rapid Plasma Reagan Test the rapid plasma reagent test is a macroscopic, non-treponemal flocculation card test. It detects antibodies produced against antigens released from damaged host cells in patients with syphilis. During the test, RPR antigen is mixed with either unheated or heated serum or with unheated plasma on a plastic-coated card. The antigen mixture used for detection contains 0.03% cardiolipin, 0.21% lecithin, and 0.9% cholesterol, along with choline chloride, EDTA, and charcoal particles. If antibodies are present in the sample, they bind with the lipid particles in the antigen suspension, leading to agglutination. The charcoal particles coagglutinate with these antibodies and appear as black clumps on the white card. If antibodies are absent, the mixture remains uniformly gray, indicating a negative result. Requirements for Rapid Plasma Reagan Test Patient's Serum or Plasma Rapid Plasma Reagent Antigen Suspension Control Serum Samples Plastic-Coated Rapid Plasma Reagent Cards Mechanical Rotator Pipettes Procedure of Rapid Plasma Reagent Test The Rapid Plasma Reagent Test can be carried out in both qualitative and quantitative formats. Specimens that test reactive in the qualitative test are further evaluated using the quantitative method to determine antibody titers. Qualitative method. Using a pipette 
Add one drop that is 50 microliters of the patient's specimen, as well as positive and negative control samples, onto separate reaction circles on the RPR card. Spread each drop evenly and smoothly within the circle. Without mixing or spreading, add one drop of diluted RPR antigen suspension to each sample, including controls. Place the card on an automatic rotator set to 100 plus or minus 2 revolutions per minute and rotate for 8 minutes. After mechanical rotation, manually tilt and rotate the card gently, 3 to 4 times back and forth to help distinguish non-reactive results from weakly reactive ones. Observe the test results under a high-intensity light source. Look for macroscopic flocculation, black clumps, to indicate a reactive sample. Quantitative method. For samples that show weak or reactive results in the qualitative test, perform serial dilutions to determine endpoint titers. Test the serum undiluted one by one and at dilutions of one by two, one by four, one by eight, and one by 16. Add 50 microliteral of 0.9% saline to reaction circles 2 through 5. Do not spread. Add 50 microliter of the serum to circle 1 and also to circle 2. Mix the contents of circle 2 by aspirating and dispensing with a pipette 8 times, avoiding bubbles. Transfer 50 microliter from circle 2, 1 by 2 dilution, to circle 3 and mix. Then transfer 50 microliter from circle 3, 1 by 4 dilution, to circle 4 and mix. Continue by transferring 50 microliter from circle 4, 1 by 8 dilution, to circle 5, 1 by 16 dilution. Mix and discard the final 50 microliter. Add exactly one free-falling drop, 17 microliter, of RPR antigen suspension to each circle without mixing. Place the card on a rotator under a humidifying cover and rotate at 100 plus or minus two revolutions per minute for eight minutes. Immediately remove the card and gently rotate and tilt it by hand, three or four to and fro motions. If the sample remains reactive at the highest dilution tested, 1 by 16, continue with further dilutions. Prepare a 1 by 50 dilution of non-reactive serum in 0.9% saline to use as a diluent. Make a 1 by 16 dilution of the test specimen by mixing 0.1 milliliters of serum with 1.5 milliliters of 0.9% saline. Mix thoroughly. Dispense 50 microliter of the 1 by 50 non-reactive serum diluent into circles 2 through 5. Add 50 microliter of the 1 by 50 non-reactive serum diluent into circles 2 through 5. 1 by 16 diluted test specimen to circle 1 and also to circle 2. Perform serial two-fold dilutions by transferring and mixing as before. Complete the test using the same steps as described in the earlier procedure. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Result Interpretation of Rapid Plasma Reagent Test Presence of Characteristic Antigen Antibody Clumps Black in the center or the periphery of the test circle indicates a positive RPR test. Absence of antigen-antibody clumps, indicated by slight roughness and no aggregates, suggests a negative test. All reactive serum requires serial dilution to estimate antibody titer. The titer is reported as the reciprocal of the highest dilution, which shows a positive test result. When the quantitative rapid plasma reagent card test is performed on patients with syphilis, a fourfold rise in titer in a repeat specimen may suggest an infection, a reinfection, or a treatment failure. A fourfold decrease in titer following treatment for early syphilis 
usually indicates that therapy was adequate. Applications of Rapid Plasma Reagent Test It is used mostly as the screening test for syphilitic infection. Combined with specific antibody testing, the Rapid Plasma Reagent Test allows confirming the diagnosis of active infection and starting treatment. Screening for syphilis is a routine part of pregnancy tests. The test for syphilis is also performed if being treated for another STI such as gonorrhea, infected with HIV, or if engaged in high-risk sexual activity. Advantages of Rapid Plasma Reagent Test The Rapid Plasma Reagent Test is an effective, easy-to-perform, and fast screening test. It is readily available in kit form for purchase. Results are observed without the use of a microscope. In addition to screening for syphilis, a titer can be used to track the progress of the disease over time and its response to therapy. Since the organism Treponema pallidum cannot be cultured in artificial media, the screening of syphilis via serological testing such as RPR becomes important. The patient need not have the symptoms of syphilis for this test to be accurate. It can detect syphilis very effectively in patients without symptoms. Since it is a non-treponemal test, non-specific test, it is used to investigate syphilis along with other treponematoses such as yaws and pinta. It offers more effective screening than the venereal disease research laboratory test. Limitations of rapid plasma reagent test. Without some other evidence for the diagnosis of syphilis, a reactive non-treponemal test, such as rapid plasma reagent, does not confirm treponema pallidum infection. Any reactive RPR test must be confirmed with a specific or treponemal test, such as treponema pallidum hemagglutination assay or fluorescent treponemal antibody absorption test. The anti-lipoidal antibodies detected are not only produced as a consequence of syphilis and other treponemal diseases, but also may be produced in response to non-treponemal diseases of an acute and chronic nature in which tissue damage occurs. The rapid plasma reagent test isn't always accurate. For example, False negative results may arise if an individual had syphilis for less than three months, as it could take longer for the body to make antibodies. The test is also unreliable in late-stage syphilis. False positive results can be seen in conditions like HIV, Lyme disease, malaria, pneumonia, systemic lupus erythematosus, IV drug use, and tuberculosis. The antibodies produced as a result of a syphilis infection can stay in the body even after syphilis has been treated. A non-reactive rapid plasma reagent card test with clinical evidence of syphilis can be seen in early primary syphilis, in secondary syphilis as a result of the prozone reaction, and in some cases of late syphilis. The rapid plasma reagent card test cannot be used to test spinal fluids. The rapid plasma reagent card test may be reactive in persons from areas where yaws, pinta, or non-venereal syphilis is endemic. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.